Casey, you know, uh, this show is done live every Saturday night, and as we speak, about 50% of all Australians will be doing one thing, having a dinner party. Now, as, as you may know, these can be pretty horrific experiences, which is why we've decided to prepare this brief guide to the Australian dinner party. Now, first up, you'll need a host, or in our case, a hostess. It's her job to spend the entire day cooking and cleaning and preparing, and then the entire evening apologising for just about everything. I'm sorry about the soup, everyone. I think I might have burnt the onions oh, when I was cooking. No, 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 no. You didn't burn the onions, no, no. I'm sorry about the tomatoes. I couldn't get any in season and no, I just... The tomatoes were fine. That was okay. good report, hey? Oh. What a disaster. That was my fault too. I'm sorry. <laughs> As you may have picked up, it's, it's the guest's job to uh, sort of praise the hostess in uh, direct proportion to her self-denigration, uh, hence... I'm sorry about the chicken, it was a little bit tough. No, 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 yeah, you can, uh, you can actually imagine the Hitlers holding a dinner party. We're sorry we invaded Poland. No! no. 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 exactly the same thing. Yeah. Apart from a lot of apologising, the hostess uh, also has to monitor the food and drink situation throughout the evening, even if this means killing off all other forms of conversation. So there we were. Mm. Absolutely knackered. I'll mm. bet. Mm. <laughs> we get back to the bus, mm. Mm. and who should be in the front seat? Do I have some more wine, the... Shelley? Perhaps Excuse I can me, talk I was right in the middle of my conversation. Well, darling, you've been a little bit slow. Yeah. Yeah. Could you do all why, why do I get the impression these two are married? Uh, now, the other, the other, please, the other role of the hostess is, to, of course, to arrange seating. With couples, fairly straightforward. You just put them as far apart as humanly possible. But singles can be a bit more of a challenge, you know, when you go and invite a bit of a single friend to your dinner party. So what the hostess will usually do is invite another single and place the two hapless fools together and kind of, you know, wait for the magic to start. <sighs> So, Michael, still no luck on the romance front? No, no, I'm sorry, no, no. Still single? That's an incredible coincidence because Shelley here is also single. Mm -hmm. Her husband died last week. Great. <laughs> um, apart, from, apart from being single, these two will have absolutely nothing in common, but it won't stop our hostess from giving it a red-hot go. Michael, I believe you're in film. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, I make pornos. <laughs> because Shelley here runs a women's refuge. Really? <laughs> so you'd be able to introduce me to heaps of chicks. Mm. Now, now, no matter how careful you are with your guest That's list, right. there are always some undesirables that manage to sneak in. One of the most common at an Australian dinner party is this couple. They're usually in their 30s and they have only one interest in life, an interest by no one else. Have I told you we're renovating? Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're doing the cornices at the moment uh, because we finished doing the floorboards. I've actually got pictures of the original work right here. Yeah. Pass them around in a clockwise these, direction. Um, <laughs> these people can drag home renovations into almost any conversation. Um, more salad, anyone? I'm sorry about the dressing. I could have really used a little bit more vinaigrette and I'm, I, could, I could shoot myself. That's exactly what I thought to myself when I used an oil-based paint on the skirting board. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> you can actually keep those because I've got six of each. Okay. <laughs> Please. But perhaps the most undesirable character to work his way into a dinner party, and it's not just the ponytail, let me tell you. It's, um, it's this chap here. He's, uh, he's lots of things. He's, um, he's, um, he's politically correct. Did I tell you that I'm thinking of not flying British Airways to London at the end of the year? I hear they still fly to South Africa. <laughs> yes, um, he's also an overactor. No, he's also... <laughs> A compulsive name dropper. Did I tell you, I went to the uh, Writers' Festival meeting the other night. I spoke to Philip, Philip Adams. Oh. And uh, Jill. Oh, sorry, Gillian Armstrong. Oh. And I said that if we're going to broaden the base on this whole Writers' Festival thing, I want to see the plans. That's what we're... I said to the actor. Oh, more wine, anyone? <laughs> right, stop, 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 stop. But I think the most fascinating thing about this guy is that he tends to consider himself more of a feminist than any of the women at the table. I relented during the week. I actually saw Basic Instinct and... As a man, <laughs> feel offended. As a, as a man, I feel offended. The roles of women are disgraceful. Gee, I loved the film. Oh, so did I. So did I. I loved it too. Maybe I'm sensitive because I've been doing a lot of work with the uh, women's committee on the uh, non-genderfication of both. <laughs> 
How close was that? <laughs> we uh, actually during the week we had a win. We changed. <laughs> <laughs> we changed. We changed Walkman to walk mm, person. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I think we've all sat next to a guy like this at a dinner party. Why people invite Australian Democrats, it's got me, Pete. I'm actually voting independent. Good I don't want the party political to system to well, come into... That's about it for our beginner's guide to a, a dinner party. The only thing that remains now is getting rid of your guests at the end of the evening. And, uh, well, you can try yawning. Oh, dear. Is, um, is that the time? You can try a fairly subtle comments like... Well, it's, it's been a great night, hasn't yeah, it? It's hey? a lovely night. But at last, on Saturday night, there is now a foolproof method for getting rid of your dinner party guests. I know everyone. Why don't we watch The Late Show? <laughs> oh, no. Get out of here.